Many high school students Juan Salas and Daylene Sanchez went to this bus stop off of Isang Song Road in Dededo this morning, as they do each weekday waiting for the school bus. But this morning, the unthinkable happened. I was just on my phone and all of a sudden I hear my cousin yelling and everything. And I saw like a car crash, or the car hit the girl and everything. So my friends and cousins just ran them over and just put something under her head and everybody called the cops. We saw um, the car hit the girl, at two girls, but one flew very far. We were all dramatized, we were scared, we didn't know what to do. The students were horrified at what they saw. Kayleen Tudela says the driver of the 2005 Acura Integra didn't seem phased. He went faster when he hit her. He went faster and he just drove away. Despite being in shock, the kids' instincts kicked in and they ran to help. The one that got her bad, she looked very, very bad. It looked like she was going to, you know, pass or stuff like that. So we just in a hurry to call the ambulance. Was she talking? She was doing her, the head nodding and stuff like that. So we were checking if she will respond. The 14 and 15 year old girls were transported to the Guam Memorial Hospital. The latter was admitted into the pediatric ward recovering from a fractured hip while the 14 year old was treated and released. Guam Police Department spokesperson officer A.J. Bellahaja says thanks to another eyewitness, police were able to catch the driver who was identified as 24 year old John Daniel Ringill. We received an initial uh, call from a uh, eyewitness to um, that vehicle being on the roadway, uh, almost colliding with a school bus. Um, the school bus uh, took, the driver uh, took evasive action and avoided the collision. The suspect ended his reckless driving spree by parking at the mobile gas station in Dededo. When officers arrived, he was passed out. The shattered windshield and broken side view mirror, clearly evidence of the hit and run he just fled from. Police say he was highly intoxicated. His blood alcohol content was more than three times the legal limit at 0.28. KUAM has learned that this isn't the first time Ringel, who works for G4S security, allegedly fled the scene. In fact, just two weeks ago, he was cited on Route 15 for leaving the scene with property damage and driving on the wrong side of the road. The students who helped tend to their classmates didn't go to school today because they were traumatized by what happened but they're hoping today's incident will cause elected leaders to act. I'm pretty stunned like, to ride the bus stop and everything. I just want to say like, it's better if the mayor brings in bus stops into our own road because that's like already a uh, dangerous you know, hazard right there on the road, the bus stop on the road.